We are in Schoology. Just want to point out some often overlooked features, and one of them being the calendar at the top. This is a great feature for students and families to get a snapshot of what's due and when uh, by looking at their calendar. Okay. What's also nice about the calendar is you can color code certain courses so that that coursework shows up in a different color. That's pretty nice. Also in the calendar, you can filter by checking the box so that what appears on your calendar is only that course. If you want a course by course view of what's due and you want to do that quickly, you can access the calendar at the top and filter the, uh, the views in that calendar. So that's pretty nice. On that same note of collecting assignments and when things are due, um, this happens a lot. If teachers are creating a paper assignment, something that's going to be collected in person, not a digital submission. Now, you still might want to create the assignment in Schoology because you want it to fall into your grade book so that you can enter a grade or a score for that paper assignment. I understand that. But at the bottom, you'll notice this little button called Submissions Disabled or Submissions Enabled. By default, submissions are always enabled. Now, if they're enabled, Schoology then waits till the due date, but then when the due date passes, it starts sending out push notifications saying, your assignment is late, you have overdue work. In the case of a paper assignment, you don't want that to happen. Here's why. If families begin receiving notifications from Schoology saying something's late, they address that with the student, and little Derek says, uh, but mom, I turned that in. I gave it to the teacher. Mom doesn't understand why Schoology's then sending her messages saying your work is late. It's because this button has been enabled. So what we tell our teachers is if you're pass passing out a paper assignment, disable submissions, that's telling Schoology that's not a submission that's going to occur digitally. You don't need to take care of sending out notifications telling students and families it's late. Okay. In the case of a paper assignment, generally teachers need some time in order to grade it and then put the grade. So often the grade won't go in automatically on the due date like it might go in if it was a digital submission. Okay. So if you're collecting things digitally, by all means, have the button on. That way if students do not submit prior to the due date, they get some notifications saying you've got a missing assignment, get that in. I hope that makes sense. Thank you for